CompuServe has built the most comprehensive online information service worldwide. Soon, accessing that information will be easier than ever as its next generation of interface is introduced, CompuServe 3.0. A great number of people have contributed their work to the design of CompuServe 3.0. Many more are putting thousands of hours into the creation, testing, and fine-tuning of the software and its support pieces as we speak. Writing code and test scripts, designing the user interface, and creating the help file are just a few of the tasks involved in the creation of CompuServe 3.0. To ensure we deliver a quality product, CompuServe 3.0 is going through continuous usability and quality assurance tests as it's being developed. CompuServe 3.0 is scheduled to be released online in the spring of 1996. While the software is not finished yet, we're close to a final product. And today, we'd like to give you a sneak peek at what is soon to become the new face of CompuServe. Hi, I'm Alex Sutliff, the CompuServe 3.0 product manager and your host for this video. Welcome to CompuServe 3.0. CompuServe 3.0 will be available for Windows 95, Windows 3.1 and later versions, Windows NT, Power Mac, and Macintosh systems. All versions of the software, regardless of platform, are consistent in form and function. So once you learn how to use one, you can use them all. We'll also provide customized versions of CompuServe 3.0 for key customers. Let's take a look at CompuServe 3.0 itself. The graphical interface is different than any other CompuServe product you've ever seen. It has been redesigned from the ground up to be engaging and easy to use while still supporting the functionality of sims of the past. Ease of use was one of the driving forces behind the creation of CompuServe 3.0. Today, desktops, notebook pages, and tabs provide point-and-click access that has proven to be easier to use in usability tests. Few of our competitors have used these tabs or notebook pages yet. So let's talk specifically about the new, easier-to-use interface. CompuServe 3.0's interface is divided into desktops that are labeled in plain English. You're looking at the home desktop now. It's one of nine desktops and the first thing you see when you start CompuServe 3.0. The home, chat, news, convention center, and forum area desktops are all consistent, again, to make CompuServe 3.0 easy to use. Each has side tabs down the left side of the screen that represent categories or groups of related tasks. Under each side tab are pages represented by tabs across the top of the screen. The pages are those specific tasks to be completed. Breaking CompuServe's RITS functionality down into these single side buttons and tabs allows members to find and complete their tasks more quickly and easily. Here's an example. If you click on the Mail Center tab, you'll see four pages, Read, Create, Search, and Address Book. If you want to read your new mail, you just click on Read. The other desktops in CompuServe 3.0 include the Internet Browser, the CompuServe Browser, and the Convention Center. I'm going to focus on two extremely important desktops now, the Internet Browser and the CompuServe Browser. You can still get to all the web has to offer, and now we give our members a choice. Microsoft's Internet Explorer is available when you install CompuServe 3.0. And now, Netscape will also be available. So now we have the world's most promising and the world's most popular Internet browsers available to our members. CompuServe offers configurable support for multiple browsers, and no one else, including AOL, can say that. We even have parental controls, so you can choose what parts of the web your children can see. Have you ever read about a new piece of software in a magazine article and wish you could just push a button to get it? Now, if you're on CompuServe, you can. When you go to an enhanced menu, a list menu, articles, or HTML menus hosted on CompuServe, you now see a desktop we call the CompuServe Browser. Some articles or menu choices in the CompuServe Browser now have hyperlinks that take you directly to the files or messages mentioned in the text. The CompuServe Browser desktop also features a go-to pop-up menu that shows the title of the current page and lets you switch to other pages that you have viewed. Forward and backward buttons to easily navigate between places or pages and the What's New, Leave, and File It button. That's our new interface. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm going to show you some of the new features we've added. Right now, when you want to find out what's going on on CompuServe, this is the place to look. Right now can be updated by CompuServe's editorial staff as many times a day as needed to make sure members get the most up-to-date news about events and information online. 
right now appears automatically when you connect to CompuServe. CompuServe is still the largest online provider of message boards, file libraries, and conference rooms in the world. And now, our more than 2,000 forums have a brand new look. The forum desktop is still filled with people, messages, and files. And now they're easy to find using the message boards, file libraries, and conference room tabs. And if you're new, you can click on the Forum Learn About tab to get more information about what a forum is and how to talk, download, post, and much more. What's a background session? Glad you asked. When you decide to download a few files or messages from, in this case, a forum, CompuServe 3.0 will download these files or messages in a background session. Multiple sessions let you make the most of your time. Now, you don't have to wait to finish a task. Just start it and move on to something else. If you want to mark a lot of messages, stories, and files, and then download them later, you'll see the new to-do list. Mark files and messages that go to and from CompuServe mail, forums, file finders, articles, and ENS can all be stored here until you're ready to process them. With these new time savers, you could literally be downloading information from a forum, talking in a chat area, and browsing the World Wide Web all at the same time. After all, ease of use and access is what CompuServe 3.0 is all about. We've re-engineered SignUp. The new SignUp program features enhanced access number lookup, making it easier for members to find the best access number for their area and modem speed. The new SignUp is also more flexible and updatable to serve the needs of a variety of members worldwide. We've even revamped CB. It's now called Chat, and the area's new design will make it easier than ever for our members to communicate. And don't forget, Compasser's fantastic viewer, now available only in the convention center. Hear sound clips, see video stills, and chat along. Cool, huh? And last, but certainly not least, to help our members use CompuServe 3.0, we've included a completely rewritten and redesigned help system and added new Learn About tabs to give members the right amount of information at the right time. Well, we've covered a lot of the major new features of CompuServe 3.0. To learn about additional changes and new features, Please read the printed materials that were passed out with this video. The members of the Interface Products Group and all those involved with the creation of Composer 3.0 appreciate your time and hope that you're as excited about this new product as we are. If you have any questions, concerns, or bug reports about the pre-release versions of Composer 3.0 in the future, please post them to IPG's webpage at http colon slash slash quality.inhouse.composerve.com. Thanks for watching.